today's video, I'm going to be breaking down some gameplay, some live gameplay for you uh, with a little bit of a different twist of an offense that I've been running in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're breaking down some live gameplay. So basically, what we're going to be doing is giving tips and tricks as they come up and kind of talking about some of the thought processes and things like that as they come up but guys we do upload four videos a day here on youtube so if you guys are enjoying the channel if you enjoy the tricks and the strategies that we're trying to give you um go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen all right guys so we're going to go through and we're going to set up our coaching adjustments i like to have 5 20 and 5 as my zone drops i've done a video on that on the channel uh and then basically what we're going to do when we come out is we are just going to um, effectively try to you know just see what's going on uh, see what he wants to do what what he's trying to do now he is the Detroit Lions you know you can learn a lot about people by the team that they pick in my opinion and so based off of his team selection um, it tells me that we're gonna probably see a little bit more of a heavy passing but it does look like he is gonna go down to the run um, it's a little bit new twist I'm running on my defense uh, with this little Kind of heavy box look from the 40 from the 335 uh, i ran it at the beginning of the year and kind of went away from it a little bit but i'm kind of going back into it with just how much people are really running the ball um and so this has been very very useful for me uh just to be able to kind of stop the run uh or i would say stop it i would say contain the run because um, that's really what more of what i'm actually doing is just kind of containing the run containing the outside edges Looks like there he's going to get that bubble screen off. Pretty good read. You do need, in my opinion, um, with bubble screens, they are actually fairly effective. Uh, what I like to do for, for bubble screens is I just basically will um, will go through. Let's see. We get, we get a couple guys in here that are fast. Um, but I'll basically go through and just pass commit. And for that, for the most part, um, that stops it. Now, he's doing a little bit of a tricky offense so far. There's a little run to carry on Johnson. Let's see here. Got Jason Beret. Put uh, Mosley in. I might have even to put Witherspoon in. And there's that run play. You see, it does kind of contain it. It doesn't, it doesn't box it up, but it does kind of contain it a little bit. Um, because you have such a heavy box here, you have players that can shoot left or right, and then you're kind of basically in the middle of the field trying to clean up the dive. So we're gonna put, we're gonna swap Fred Warner and Tavarius Moore. He's gonna come out gun bunch, tight end. There we go. And there you see, it does really, really good against shotgun runs. Under center is still a little bit of a challenge to stop. Uh, we're going to show you some of that when we get the ball on offense. Um, I'm excited to break that down for you. Uh, let's see here. Just baseline it. There's that coverage. And there we go. There we go. There's the. So now we got him in third down. Now, when you get someone in third down in this long. To me, there's a select few of routes that they're going to try to hit. Uh, one of those routes um, is going to be the the deep corner route. And there, Jimmy Ward makes a nice play. All right, so we get the stop on, on defense. Now, if you guys haven't joined the Discord yet, be sure to do that. That link is in the description of this video. Discord is basically a communication platform. That allows you to basically talk Madden 24-7. But I was looking up the 49ers as a team, and they really are equipped uh, to run to win uh, with their tight ends, with their wide receivers, um, you know, all of that that they offer you. You have a 97 speed running back in Raheem Mostert who can kind of double as a wide receiver, in fact. But this, this run right here, I'm telling you right now, I've been running this for – several weeks um and i'm telling you it might be it might be the best run in madden and it's the simplest run in madden but man it's really really tough to stop 
Like it is, and you can do it from multiple sets. You don't have to do it from iForm Tight, right? You can do it from iForm Pro, and iForm Pro has a pretty decent little passing scheme that you can employ. Um, does I think does that have any run command on that? But iForm Tight is certainly the best, uh, the best one in my opinion to use. Um, you could use that out of West Coast. You could use that out of Las Vegas uh, Raiders playbook. Um, it's just a very, very difficult run to stop. I mean, you see the automatic win that you get at the center position. That's what makes this run so hard is you literally get an automatic four to five if you if you get that win animation. And most of the time with the fullback, you're going to get that push. And so because you get that instant push, it's very, very difficult to stop. They, they actually have to sell out to stop it. But what that's going to do is it's going to leave them vulnerable to something like this right here with the stretch. Now, he did... He did get me wrapped up there. And I think he's running 3-3-5. So I don't know how that linebacker was able to shed me. You will get a couple random sheds here and there. But for the most part, um, I've been seeing this I-form tight HBI. So it's not a, it's not dead. It's definitely not a burner run. Meaning it's not a run that's going to just like torch the defense over the, over the, over and over again for one play scores. But it's something that's going to consistently move. You see right here. And he is able to get the stop. I mean, I should have cut it to the left. What's cool with that run is you can cut it multiple different directions. So I just wanted to, we're going to do some testing on that uh, in this video as well. And kind of show off um, the real power of it, in my opinion. So he's going to go to his stretch. Yep. And we're going to also test our 335 normal, right? Not 335 odd, 335 normal. Uh, run defense. But I should be able to sit right here in this gap. Dang it. He's able to get out. If you have not joined the texting membership, be sure to do that as well. The texting membership is basically a way that you can get for free high level Madden tips, high level Madden updates, right? And so every single week, we're going to release a uh, update to you which is going to basically cover um, what's going on in the community right now. What are some things that you need to understand? What are some of the shifts in the game? You know, and how do you combat those? They're really high level tips. They're designed for people who are really looking to come to the, to the top of the top, basically, you know, um, who's, who's looking to really, really get better. And, um, and I'm just really excited to, to launch that. So all you have to do to sign up for that is basically just shoot me a text message. My number's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description of this video. It's 812-216-3644. And all you have to do is just text me, um, just text me directly, and I'd love to be able to talk some Madden with you. And it looks like our little 335 run defense, we might need to blitz some players. Maybe shift a little bit into the 335 wide. It looks like another year. Where, for the most part, the 3-3-5 uh, the wide is the best run defense so far, anyway. <laughs> that was a good gap shoot right there by Jimmy Ward. Counter runs are really, really powerful, but counter runs are a little bit... You are a little bit exposed if you run the counter, because, you know, if the, if the defense shoots you, you know, you're kind of trouble a little slip screen we brought the coverage out there he's still able to get the ball to him this is going to be a kind of a grinded out game i can already feel it one of my favorite defenses in the red zone especially if they're not coming out in a heavy set is the three four bear and he's gonna get it in and we're able to get a nice shot by Quan alexander we'll go ahead and take a timeout right there force him to make a decision if i'm in his shoes it's going to be a grinded out game i'd take my my field goal uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come out and field goal um field goal safe so we're going to go safe man right just to try to just to try to trick him a little bit here in case he fakes it and we're going to get the ball back on offense <laughs> But I think Madden, I think the meta, you know, I wanted to, I do want to do these videos where we talk a little bit about the meta. I think the meta has to shift to more of a running focus game. Um, 
just with the way that man coverage just takes it, it takes a lot of the creativity elements out of offense because you basically have to run very specific route combinations to beat man-to-man -man coverage um, you have to run motion slants motion drags motion um, you know deep post routes things like that of that nature um, and there you see that's what I'm talking about the ISO if you are if you are good on the if you are good on the cuts with the ISO um, it's really hard to stop I think it might be better than last year's ISO if that's even possible um, but specifically from I form tight I find it to block really really well you know I think I form tight dive I form tight ISO um, just because if you're like I said if you're good on the cuts you're gonna get three yards like you're it's gonna happen you just have to make the right decision See, like right in there you see how I'm just walking forward for three walking forward for three walking forward for three and then right here third and three big down see how he's and he's also the thing is he's not helping himself he's pinching everybody down at me he's pinching his whole defense he's pinching his linebackers he's pinching his his outside guys right he is he is literally over committing to stop the ISO and we're still getting three to five yards that's the thing that people don't miss about this run and then when you're just at the right time you imp imp implement something like this right here do that little double juke get that cut back right in there but the 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 quick running game uh, to me and you can do it what I like about the West Coast playbook is you can do it from pro sets as well um, that create an added element right you can you can create another layer to your running game but right now we're just going to use the two tight end sets but you can create another layer entirely to your running game but see here I mean stretch is wide open basically begging me to run the stretch here and the thing about the stretch is oftentimes you can get out of bounds and now you're seeing we're starting to get a good clip uh, on the running game here and then you can also do some of these RPOs and things but I would I would advise you know stay in these this 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 quick ISO and what we want to do right here is we want to make sure that we get our three because I really feel like um, you know we're gonna come out we get ball at half he did run commit there you see the run commit does give it a little bit of trouble um, on the inside run and that's why the toss is there if they run commit against the toss the pitch and I think we're gonna try to catch a pitch here you know that you, you run the pitch at the right time you could really do some damage see right there get a cut block there's a block there we go double juke and Raheem Mostert takes it to the house good run see I'm telling you if you and, and part of running the ball you know that people miss and misunderstand a lot of is you have to understand what the defense is trying to do to stop you just like when you pass the ball you have to understand that as well so when I'm running the ball, one of the things that I'm trying to ask myself is what is the defense, what is he trying to do? If I was in his shoes, what would he be doing to try to stop me? Well, one of the things that he's doing, because we've established a dive, because we've pushed the dive over and over and over again, and we've taken our three yards, and we've taken our three yards, then what's going to happen is now, all of a sudden, he has to overcommit to stop in the dive. So he's got to spy his safeties, or he's got to, he's got to basically push a lot of his defenders to the middle of the field well when he does that right little counter and counter punch when he does that I do this you know and so what we're able to do is say okay well you've now pushed everything to the middle and let me you know let me go get you uh, on the edge and so that's what we're able to do that contributed to a touchdown and we all it was a calculated risk because what we understood what I understood is if it doesn't work okay if it doesn't work um, it's not the end of the world because if it doesn't work we're gonna take our field goal and we're gonna be tied and we're getting the ball out of half you know so not that big of a deal and that's why we're able to do that successfully now if he goes down against three here it's a lot bigger you know it's really not that big of a deal for him to go down here and get three um, because well, again we get ball out of half you know if we were if it was three to three um, then yes it would be uh, a little bit bigger of a deal go good defense and 
you're seeing the man coverage just blanket receivers and that's what I'm talking about even in regs it does you know if you if you're not one of the you know better teams like the Chiefs or the Packers or the um, or the Bucks it's going to be a difficulty to stop or to to pass the ball consistently uh, against something like this having a little bit of a prevent defense drop everybody back we're trying to kind of play the clock game here um, I know one other thing that's really important when you're in a situation like this where you're playing the clock game pretty heavily um, you know what we're gonna basically do right here back everybody off and try to kind of catch him here and he ends up hitting us over the middle and does he is gonna get his field goal so good drive by him probably should have just probably should have pressed him up I just did not want to get burned over the top. May have been a safer call. You know, I'm playing a lot more, you know, conservative on offensive side of the ball. Um, but I'm telling you, it does pay off. A little bit more of a defensive game, in my opinion. You know, it's a run-based, you know, in, in defense. It's ironic because Madden has completely shifted. You know, when we first started playing Madden 21, it was certainly an offensive, powerful game. I mean, you had people that were throwing – putting 40 plus points up a game i remember those days and then the defense quickly or the meta quickly shifted as man coverage continued to improve and especially an ultimate team you got better cards with better statistics you were able to run different defenses well now you can run zone you can run man you know i think man works a little bit better than zone as a general starting point um, but it's tough, man. It is tough to it's tough to maneuver on an offensive side of the ball. So the other the other part of it is there's not a whole lot that defense can do to stop the run because there's not a whole lot of abilities in the game, with the exception of inside stuff, which can be manipulated to be able to stop it. As you can see here, like this is what I'm talking about about that that dive, that hitting them, starting them off with this little quick run right here. Uh, and what that's going to do for your offense. I mean, this is 3 through 5 You can tell he's spying his safeties, and there he was able to get it in. Now, you can tell he's blitzing everybody, right? And so what that tells me is, okay, at the right time, at the right time, I can hit him with something else. There's there's another you know another way to go about it. His middle linebacker is coming through that gap, which is really nice, and that's one of the added bonuses, in my opinion, to the nickel 3 through 5 uh, wide defense is one of the only defenses that I know of where the linebacker can shoot the A-gap and shut down that middle run if he blitzes it. So in this key down here, we're going to go to stretch. And he's going to box us up. Um, now in normal situations, I'm going to punt this, but I'm going to go to a little bit of a play you know, just giving what he's doing on defense. I've got some quick plays, you know, that I can do on offense. Some quick passes uh, to try to get to pick up this fourth down conversion here. If he goes to zone coverage, we're going to hit the fullback out of the backfield. If not, um, we're going to go. The cool part is George Kittle does have that tight end apprentice, so we can put him on that trail route. Oh, good play by his defensive end. That's okay. So now we, we're on back on defense here. And again, if I hold him to three, that's a win. Um, not too, not too concerned. Bring this backside safety. There it is. And 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 what I would do, you know, when they're in a, a heavy, heavy formation like that. One of the things that I would recommend out of nickel 35 wide is to use her the safety. Um, because if you use her the safety, you know, let's get the tackle. Let's just wrap up. Um, if you use her the safety from the backside, it gives you a plus one numbers advantage against that stretch. Um, so, right here, third and seven. If I'm him, I'm taking three, but he looks like he's going to go for it. And he 
makes a great read. I've been very delayed in getting my setups in here. Uh, we were trying to go into a cover two defense, weren't able to do it, and he ends up dotting us. And we're able to get that. So he had gone to that drag before. He likes those tight end drags. And that's just tendencies, you know, understanding what it is he actually likes to do and then taking that away from him. But we've seen tight end drags, tight end drags, tight end drags. So back in that eye tight, I'm going to show you this ISO. Now, if you ID this mic, my thought is maybe we'll see if the fullback picks him up. Yep. See how that fullback will pick him up? If you kind of glide and what you get by doing the glide just with your running back, you know, I'm not holding turbo in the back, but it's going to allow me, you know, and again, it's all about understanding the running game, uh, allowing me to force his middle linebacker. See, that time he didn't blitz him, he spied him. And when you spy the middle linebacker, it does help a little bit, but it's going to allow me to get another four. It's going to allow me to get another three. And I'm perfectly content taking three to four yards every play. To me, you know, what he's got to be concerned about is, you know, I can't do that every play. You see right here, able to just do that little glide, little sidestep of the, of the middle linebacker, and we're able to slip out of there and get, you know, six to seven, six to seven. To me, those are the real wins. On the offensive side of the ball um, especially when you're running an offense like this you know see how he's spying him here and if you don't hit turbo oftentimes your blocks will hold better it's just been my experience this is just straight gliding of the left joystick very very simple little offense but very very effective as you can see here is causing him to run commit and he's run committing and still not being able to stop this that's a big third and three. I'm going to take a little bit of a gamble here. Try to catch him uh, in a run commit. We're going to try to hit that toss again. That toss has been wide open. See how it causes that little switch. And then we get outside leverage. And 97 speed, Raheem Mostert able to pick up a big first down for the offense. You see, in this, in this offense, if you can get 30 carries a game, if you can get to 30 carries a game, you're going to find a lot of success. You're going to find a lot of success with this. There he is, able to box us. Box us up there. But if you're able to hit that clip of 30 carries, you know, this is this has been one of the better. Um, I mean, you're just seeing him glide right up the middle for three to four. Three to four. And now he's got to start taking timeouts. You know, now we're in a third and seven. Now he is in a little bit better of a negotiating position right here, because I can't, I can't just take three. So we're gonna go to the stretch, see what we can pick up here. Uh, he ends up overcommitting to the inside run. We're able to get that seal here, seal there, run the ball in the alley, and Raheem Mostert is gonna run to win. Very, very simple little offense. I formed tight this year, but I think it might be better than goal line in the goal line position. Because you have the stretch, and the stretch is so hard to stop. Um, he is able to get me there. I should have double juked it back in. Um, so he's actually in a good position here. We got to go down. He's got a he's got an opportunity. You know, I probably should have kicked a field goal just based on the whole theme of being conservative and all that. I wanted to go ahead and punch it in and put the game away. Probably should have went to the ISO there. Um, I just kind of assumed he would run commit. Run commit does do okay against the ISO run because they shoot the middle. So that's just something to be aware of uh, on the goal line. But, guys, if you have not uh, joined the uh, texting membership, I would highly encourage it. Uh, this offense, along with some other stuff, is going to be posted um, through those tips. We're also going to be working on a running based ebook uh, coming out soon for you. So a lot of good stuff, but I would encourage you. And I have a pass-heavy ebook, and I have a defensive ebook out right now in my Madden 21 Competitors Guide. So if you have not picked that up, uh, I would love for you to do that. A link to do that is in the description of this video. Let's see what they do with the tight end. There's a corner route, and Kenny Galladay just drops a wide open dot. This is where you could really, you know, but when you force someone to pass and they don't want to pass, they don't haven't learned how to pass. You know, um, what you're seeing is you know pretty solid performance so far it's just a lot 
lot to have to deal with. Um, quick read here, quick read there. Does take that tight and drag again, like that read. And again, if you guys have not subscribed yet, I would, I do want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen because we upload uh, a ton of tips every day as well. Uh, we don't just do gameplay videos here, we do tips and tricks. Um, that right there is a crazy call to me. Um, not a good call by him, and it's really going to put him in a poor, poor position. Um, I knew that route was coming, I should have been on that. So he's just working up and down, working up and down. Tight end drag. Yep. I like that he's taking his tight end drag so consistently. And we almost took it. Sherm almost took it. So in this position right here, what I want to do is I want to run a very specific coverage, and I want Sherman in the middle of the field with that 90-plus zone coverage. Um, it's going to allow him to break on the ball a little bit here. Um, something like this right here. Got good underneath coverage here. He is going to go over top, Jaquistic Tart, and he's going to make a crazy catch. A crazy catch. So now you get the ball on the three, you got one timeout. The question is, do you run it or do you pass it um, in this situation? You got about 30 seconds. So it looks like he's going to go ahead uh, and pass it. And nope, he's going to go to the run. Does get in. So now we've got 28 seconds. It's actually coming down to a good game. It's going to be interesting to see what he does on the offensive side of the ball. Will he go for two um, or will he go for a field goal? Looks like he is going to go ahead and go for two. So we're going to come out 4-6 normal. Cover two invert. Got the purples right there. I'm going to try to catch him. And we knock it out. Ball game. So good. Good job by me. All we got to do is recover an onside kick. We will be streaming tonight, guys. At 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We stream every single night on YouTube. Uh, Twitch and Facebook so the links to all of those are in the description of this video but I just wanted to highlight um, what in my opinion is going to be a massive shift but hasn't already shifted to this direction these running plays this collection of running plays work really really well together they're really really hard to stop and when you can get you know, a couple quick yards with your ISO runs if you can master the, the HB ISO run it's really going to open up everything else for your offense so just wanted to share this with you guys today. Um, we'll have more videos coming uh, on the channel for the rest of the day as well, so be sure to stay tuned. I'm going to have some videos coming up um, in a minute on the screen that are going to help you. But guys, all in all, um, I could definitely see the meta shifting back um, if it hasn't already shifted back to the run. Um, this HP Blast is something we'll talk about down the road. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next YouTube video in just a little bit.